Well, I followed some instructions which were fairly close to what I needed, which I'll uh, post on the video in the description. Uh, that was just for Instructables, and that was some generic instructions on how to interface you know, red, green, blue LED strips to an Arduino and to a Bluetooth device. And then you can use some software on a smartphone to control that. Uh, what I've done that's slightly differently, or slightly different, is I've used three MOSFETs to drive a 10 watt LED. So I've got about three watts per channel, and this is quite a lot brighter than you get from a small bit of LED strip. So I already had this running on three potentiometers with manual control and some software that I wrote which was very simple. But recently I found some software online and an app for Android that allows you to um, control all of this via Bluetooth on your smartphone. So I've wired up my Bluetooth adapter to my old manual red-green-blue controller. And if I turn it on, let's see what happens. This takes 12 volts down to 9 volts to power the LEDs. This takes 9 volts down to 5 volts to power the Arduino and Bluetooth, which is blinking away because it doesn't have a connection. So let's see what happens if I just try and put that so you can see the LED. If I connect on the phone, let's uh, get some better. So if I scan, it should find the device. There we go. So now it's connected. So it's not blinking quite in the same way. And that means if I press the on button here, it turns on. Then I can vary the intensity in maximum color before it goes up to white. I can even change a color. So we've got blue. We've got what else have we got? Come on, touch screen, don't fail me now. We've got red and any combination, which is quite nice. Obviously you can turn it on and off. You can record a set of favourite colour, so we can record for red as favourite, and go to different colours and go back to red, which is quite nice. Again, you can vary the brightness. And uh, that's about it.